Hey YouTube, what's up? My name's Rob. Welcome to the show. I am the Chesapeake Picker. I'm a part-time reseller based here out of Virginia. I gotta say, things have been a little bit slow on eBay for me lately. I'm still making good sales, as in individually good, but I haven't been seeing a whole lot of traffic. I'm definitely getting that uh, summer slowdown. If anybody's wondering, this is a Mancation shirt. So Mancation is a trip that I take with me and my buddies, and every year uh, one of the guys prints up a t-shirt to wear. So this one was... Uh, married with children theme there so i'm not really anti-woman um i don't wear this out of the house much this is an around the house shirt but anyway i've not been selling a ton on ebay i've been selling actually more in facebook marketplace the last few days um but you know it's summer slowdown things will pick up some people see a dip some people see a rise but i do got some good things going out let's go ahead and take a look at some stuff that's sold so i got this lot of uh super book action figures this is some kind of i guess cartoon or something like that on a uh, cbn so we got pharaoh moses chris quantum joy pepper and then David and Goliath. I've picked these up at various points at Goodwills and stuff like that. I got anywhere um, up to $4 on them. So let's just say I got 24 bucks on them. On their own, they're not worth a whole lot, but altogether I was able to sell them for $80 plus shipping on Mercari, and they sold about 10 minutes after I listed them. So I do sometimes pre-box things. I've told you guys that uh, big stuff like this, I tend to like to do that with. This is a Ninja uh, Slow cooker system i'll throw the picture up on the screen and stuff like that a couple weeks back i picked that up at a garage sale with that and a new wave oven which they're always good the new wave actually is one of the older models so i only got that one up for like 60 bucks plus shipping where i usually sell this for like 90 but it's still listed i paid 22.50 for each of them so not too shabby this one sold for 99 dollars plus shipping so the buyer's like i don't know like 140 bucks all in with shipping and everything going out ups ground but when i do have big stuff like that i do want to make sure i have all my ducks in a row i got my measurements right because you know that, that inch can burn you if it's i actually cut this box down so i use the box resizer to cut it down just a bit because one inch was going to be the difference of quite a big big difference there it was going to be like another i don't know like any, anywhere from 10 to 40 dollars depending on what service i use so having the ability to shrink that down know ahead of time it's also nice because when it sells i just come here and hit print 99 dollars plus ship i sold a set of rock band drums these are uh ps2 or 3 i'm not really sure but i just put in the the uh the serial or the uh, model number in the description there i picked these up for like five bucks or something like that sometimes these are worth a lot more sometimes a lot less this one i just had the uh, foot pedal and the drum set so i listed that for 50 dollars plus shipping and that went out the door and this norfolk tides hats our local baseball team if you're a regular viewer of the channel you've seen me ship these out quite often this one was mine i actually bought this a couple uh, years ago when he went to a game, but it just didn't fit. It was like a fitted hat and you know, it left that big crease on my forehead stuff when I wore it. So I said, all right, let's get rid of this. This one went for $19.99 with free shipping. It's a bad buy. I've been sitting on it over a year, but it finally sold. I got this uh, Solidex tripod. It was new in an open damaged box. Uh, I got it for $2.98 at the thrift store. It's not really a super desirable brand, so it's been banging around in there for the last year. I sent out an offer, finally sold for $15 plus shipping, and that went out. Actually, I don't have any video of me boxing it up, but I actually, because it was so long, I used a large flat rate box that I franken boxed down and shrunk down into right about this size. Next time I have to do that, I'll, I'll shoot you guys a message there, but it is perfectly okay to adjust those large and medium flat rate shippers as long as you're adjusting them. You can't ship them out as is, but when you do it, even if you do it, you make sure you cover the, any stickers or barcodes, because if that thing goes through a machine and it flags, like these little barcodes on there, it'll know that that's a flat rate and you're gonna get charged the difference regardless of it. Or anywhere where it says large flat rate on it. I got some white stickers, I just put that over the top. 
This is a heated debate in the reseller community, but I've done it a bunch and I've never had an issue. We got this Michael Jackson DVD. It was New Sealed uh, Greatest Hits Volume 2. I got this for $2.50 at Goodwill, and it did sell for $19 plus shipping. All right, so moving on over to Facebook. I've had four things go out in the last couple days. I got two pairs of shoes and then two games. Um, the first one is this pair of Allen Edmonds slip-on loafers. These are men's size 10 and a half. I think I spent up on them. I think I got them at like Salvation Army or CHKD. I spent like 10 bucks on these things, but they did sell for $80 plus shipping. These are a really nice model here. They are like the burgundy. Your burgundies and your browns on your dress shoes are always gonna sell for more because they're more in, unique and in demand. For the most part, anybody can go out and find any black pair of dress shoes. And uh, in my opinion, from looking at sourcing and how things sell, people are more likely to spend up um, as far as resale value on the browns and the burgundies than they are the blacks. So I might be able to sell the same pair of blacks, Allen Edmonds for like 40 bucks, where I can sell them in burgundy for anywhere from 80 up well over 100, depending on what you got. Picked up these Nike Swift men's running shoes. They're in pretty good shape. Um, not a super high-end brand. These are a men's size 10 and a half. So I got them at Goodwill for $5.49 and they sold very, very quickly over on Facebook for $25 plus shipping. And then this one, I got this backgammon set here. Um, this is a larger one. This was a eight by a 18 by 11 and a half. I picked this up for $6.98. I don't usually like to spend that much on it, but it was really cool because it had like this like almost deer pelt type thing on it. Usually they're just faux leather, but this had a faux pelt and faux leather on it. It didn't have the cuffs with it, so I did have to reduce the price on it, but it still sold um, actually the day after I listed on Facebook. I've had it not a long um, for $35 plus shipping. And then this one I bought a while ago. I didn't think I was gonna sell it for any decent money, but I only spent 325 on it. It was this uh, new sealed backgammon set. It was wood, um, which isn't quite as desirable, but I figured it was new and it'd sell. It sold for $15 plus shipping. And you know, $15, not a mega sale, but again, my rule of thumb is if I can at least triple my money. So in this instance, I almost made five times my money on it. After fees selling on Facebook Marketplace, it only cost me $1.35 in fees. So it's a, I love selling on that platform and I'm glad I'm on there and well-established as it continues to grow because uh, yeah, the sky's the limit on that. If eBay's not keeping up, I'm going to move on. So that's it for the weekend. I didn't get to do any sourcing this weekend, so I don't have any garage sale video coming out for you guys this week uh, because I have family in town and I smoked 30 pounds of pulled pork on Saturday. So that was my whole day. I spent seven o'clock until five o'clock in front of the smoker and then we were partying it up all night. And then today, yeah, there's nothing around here on Sundays. It's not even worth my time going out. But next weekend, my wife and the kids are going up to Ohio. They're going to visit some family. I can't go because uh, I'm got a. I'm not, I'm not working, but I'm on call. So I'm going to be taking all of Saturday, all of Sunday, and maybe Friday if I don't have to work. And I'm going to be sourcing, so I am going to have quite a bit of video out there for you guys after that, as long as it doesn't rain me out. If you guys got any questions, comments, drop them down below. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It really helps this channel continue to grow. And I'll see you guys next time.